barn, um, Bob's barn. <laughs> we know, we know who. Yeah, we know how that works. <laughs> but uh, I know uh, it's been a while, and I just happened to schedule September 19th back this spring. So that's just kind of how things work out. But uh, I like to come about twice a year, and I like to mix it up. I don't really know what kind of music I like the best. So uh, you know, I dress funny and I do a lot of funny songs. So. Um, this song comes from the 70s. A fellow named Tom Rush was a folk singer back in the Chicago area. And I saw it on YouTube. I said, you know, that's a cool song. So, um, you know, as we all get a little older, the memory starts fading a little bit. And uh, this song's called Searching for My Glasses. Looking for my wallet and my car keys. They couldn't have gone too far. As soon as I find my glasses, I'm sure I'll find just where they are. I'm supposed to meet someone for lunch today, but I can't remember where or who it is I'm meeting. It's in my organizer somewhere. I might have left it on the counter or maybe outside in the car. The last time I remember driving was to that memory enhancement seminar. What's that far off distant ringing? And that strangely familiar tone Must be the person I am meeting Calling on my new iPhone I might have left it under the covers Or maybe outside on the lawn And I've just got one more ring to go before that voicemail thing kicks on. Beep. Hi, this is Johnny. And your call means a lot to me. So please leave a message at the tone. I'll try to remember to get back to you when I get home. Beep. Johnny. This is Gwendolyn, and I'm trying not to cry, but I've been here over an hour. I thought you loved me. This is goodbye. Ah, uh, the voice, it sounds familiar. And the name, it rings a bell. Now let's see, where was I? Oh well. Thank you, searching for my, I got my glasses, so it's the first thing I do in the morning is put them on. I've been wearing them since I was eight years old. And, uh, okay, this is a familiar song. Back in the early 70s, uh, well, when I grew up, there was three television networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, and we had one TV out in the living room, and so uh, you had three choices, and everybody watched together. Now, uh, there was a song about 20 years ago, 96 channels and nothing to watch. But uh, when I was, I think, about college age, uh, PBS they, uh, opened up a station at Delta College where I live, and uh, they had some good children's programs. So this is just a, a song from back in the early 70s. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Won't You Be My Neighbor. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in the beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty would you be? Could you be mine? 
I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I always wanted to live in the neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well stay. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we may as well stay. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Thanks. So uh, if I had a cardigan, I'd take it off and take my shoes off like Mr. Rogers used to do, but I think we'll, we'll save that. Okay, so but we're in the TV mode here, and we're, we're still in the 70s, and uh, there's a show came on. I, I forgot what night it was, but my dad really loved it, and I didn't, I didn't quite get it, but uh, now uh, I kind of see some of it, and that show is Hee Haw, and it was the most uh, syndicated, it's been in syndication longer than any other show. And there's one song they'd sing once or twice every show. So, um, and you're welcome to sing along. So you can, your part is, oh, okay. So let, let's give it a try. One, two, three, oh. All right, and you'll know when to do it, okay. So, gloom, despair, and agony on me. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, deep, dark depression, excessive misery. Oh, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. A cat in despondency sighed and resolved to commit suicide. She passed under the wheels of eight automobiles, but after the ninth one she died. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, deep, dark depression, excess of misery. Oh, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. An accident, very uncanny, befell an respectable old granny. She sat down in a chair when her false teeth were there, and she bit herself right in the fanny. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, deep, dark depression, excess of misery. Oh, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. A kindly old lady that I knew was sitting one day in the pew. When the preacher yelled, sin, she replied, count me in as soon as the service is through. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, deep, dark depression, excessive misery. Oh, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Okay, I got one more, and it's kind of true, because I did have twin boys. When twins came, their dad, Johnny Hunt, gave Edward as name to each son. When folks said absurd, I replied, ain't you heard that two Eds are better than one? 
gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, deep, dark depression, source of misery. Oh, if it weren't for bad luck, have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh, all right, thanks. Thanks for participating there. What's that? He would. Okay, this song uh, was written by a former bandmate. He's a little bit older than I, and he wrote it when he turned 50 because uh, when you turn 50, you become eligible to join a well-known organization called AARP. But he, was, uh, he's, he came from a rock and roll background. He's, he's, a, he's a, like a PhD chemist. But uh, you know, his, he was in a rock band, and uh, Chuck Grant's his name, and he moved away a few years ago. I missed not seeing him. But this song's called AARP Party Boy. I don't care if I'm over 50, I gotta party all day. Getting older is getting better, I heard some old geezer say. Went to the mall, pierced my ears, oldest man they'd had in weeks. Body vision, tattoo parlor, put a rose upon my cheeks. I don't have to be young, but I gotta be cool. Come and party with me, me, me. I'm an AARP party boy. The magazine showed me how. I'm an AARP party boy, living in the here and now. I joined the band down the street. The other guys think I'm a little old, but those college girls sure are sweet. We're playing gigs all over town, rock and roll every night. Turn up the amp, hit that chord, man, we're out of sight. I don't have to be young, but I gotta be cool, so come and party with me, me, me. I'm an A. Party Boy Magazine showed me how I'm an AARP Party Boy Living in the here and now I'm an AARP Party Boy Magazine showed me how I'm an AARP Party Boy Living in the here and now on, babe. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, you're, you're very tolerant. I appreciate you. See, you've got some snacks here, so nobody's throwing anything yet, so I'm always glad. I don't need chicken wire here. I feel safe. Okay, I'm going to change the uh, speeds a little bit. This is a, a newer song. It was uh, written by a fella named Blaze Foley. That was uh, his, his nickname. And it's kind of a sad song, and it's called If I Could Only Fly. I almost felt you touching me somehow. I wish I knew which way to turn and go. Feel so good and then I feel so bad. I wonder what I ought to do If I could only fly If I could only fly I'd build this place goodbye Come and be with you But I can hardly stand got no place to go another sinking sun one more lonely night 
The wind keeps blowing somewhere every day. They tell me things get better somewhere up the way. Just dismal thinking on a dismal day. And sad songs for us to share. If I could only fly, if I could only fly, I'd bid this place goodbye. Come and be with you. But I can hardly stand. I got nowhere to run. Another sinking sun. One more lonely night. Sometimes I write happy songs. Then some little thing goes wrong. I wish they all could make me smile. Coming home soon and I wanna stay. Maybe somehow we can get away. I wish you could come with me when I go. If I could only fly, if I could only fly, I'd bid this place goodbye. Come and be with you, but I can hardly stand. I got nowhere to run. Another sinking sun. One more lonely night If I could only fly If I could only fly If we could only fly There'd be no more lonely could only fly. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is a familiar song. Anybody that's cool, especially the ladies, sing this song. And uh, nobody sings it like the gal that sang it originally, Patsy Klein, because we're all crazy. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. I knew you'd love me as long as you wanted. And then someday you'd leave me for somebody new. Worry, why do I let myself worry? Wondering, what in the world should I do? Crazy for thinking that my love could hold you. I'm crazy for trying and crazy for crying, and I'm crazy for loving you.
Why do I let myself worry? Wondering what in the world should I do? Crazy for thinking that my love could hold you. I'm crazy for trying and crazy for crying and I'm crazy for loving you crazy Thank you. All right. okay um uh, I told Bob I was going to sing a few songs that I wrote myself. So the, uh, there's a reason these haven't been heard anywhere, because I think <laughs> I don't sing them too out too much. But um, it's frustrating when you drive sometimes. You get behind somebody, and they, you know, they have a different uh, agenda than you do, or they don't go quite as fast as I would like them to. And uh, I pointed specifically at elderly ladies, so no, no offense intended here. But this is a song called Blue-Haired Lady. guardian angel keeps you alive. Blue-haired lady, pot-sized lady, can't see over the dashboard. Blue-haired lady drives a car you seldom see. It's a 67 Ford. Blue-haired lady, slow-motion lady, your ride ain't got no horsepower. Blue-haired lady goes like a snail, doing 20 miles an hour. Blue-haired lady, I sure hate it when I get in behind you. Blue-haired lady, here's a token for the bus. Drive in something you should never do. Blue-haired lady, when it's lunchtime, the senior discount is what matters most. Mashed potatoes, chicken gravy, peas and carrots, dry white toast. Blue-haired lady, cheapskate lady, Bill Nats was the place for you. It's a shame they're out of business. Your birthday lunch was just a dollar twenty-two. Blue-haired lady. Okay. I guess I didn't pick my songs for my audience too well, so I think people are ready to throw things. Okay, this is another song I wrote that won't offend anybody unless you're from down south. We got any southerners uh, here? Kind of see. West Hello? Virginia. West Virginia, okay. Kentucky. Kentucky. Okay, you might want to go. Ellen, if you need to go to the bathroom, this would be a good time. <laughs> but uh, this is called the Redneck Love Song. Susie Lee done fell in love, she planned to marry Joe. She was so happy about it all, she told her pappy so. She was so happy about it all, she told her pappy so. Pappy told her, Susie gal, you'll have to find another. I just as soon your ma don't know, but Joe is your half brother. I just as soon your ma don't know, but Joe is your half brother. So Susie put aside her Joe and planned to marry Will. 
But after telling Taffy this, he said, there's trouble still. After telling Taffy this, he said, there's trouble still. You can't marry Will, my gal, and please don't tell your mother. But Will and Joe and several more I know are your half-brothers. Will and Joe and several more I know are your half-brothers. But Mama knew and said, my child, just do what makes you happy, happy, happy. Mary Will or Mary Joe, you ain't no kin to Taffy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. That's the Redneck Love Song. Okay. <laughs> Somebody sent me that joke, and I said, you know, that's got to be made into a song. So. All right. Um, three ladies that could re well, one is not in the bus of health, but uh, Linda Ronstadt and Dolly Parton and uh, Emmy Lou Harris put a record out called Trio back in the 80s. And, you know, they just sang parts and beautifully. And uh, this is a song I added to it a little bit to stretch it out a little bit. It's called uh, The Hobo's Lament. I like songs about hobos and cowboys and all those kind of folks. So it's also known as Hobo's Meditation, same song. Tonight as I lay on the boxcar Just waiting for a train to pass by What will become of the hobo When it comes his time to die There's a master up yonder in heaven Got a place that we might call our home Will we have to work for a living? Or can we continue to roam? Will there be any freight trains in heaven? Any boxcars in which we might ride? Will there be any tough cops or brakemen? Will they tell us that we cannot ride? Will the hobo chum with the rich man? Will we always have money to spare? Will they have respect for the hobo in the land that lies hidden up there? sweet land that lies over yonder where the warm summer sun always shines there are no fences nor watchdogs and the trains are always on time there'll be orchards and gardens aplenty where my friends will be waiting for me God has a place for the hobo where he can stay eternally. Will there be any freight trains in heaven? Any boxcars in which we might ride? Will there be tough cops or brakemen? Will they tell us that we cannot ride? Will the hobo chum with the rich man? Will we always have money to spare? Will they have respect for the hobo in the land that lies hidden up there? Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me get a little drunk. Okay, 
I find a rough on the feathers here, but um, I wrote this song on uh, November 26, 2010, which is the day after what holiday? November 20, Thanksgiving, that's right, for 10 bonus points. Redeem those with Bob and Linda. I don't know what they're good for. But um, it's called Black Friday. I'm not into it. You may be, and that's okay. But uh, this is just about uh, what people do uh, the day after Thanksgiving. My daughter works in retail. She hates it. You know, she's got to be there like at 4 in the morning, and people are clamoring. You know how it is. So anyway, it's Black Friday. Hey, Mom, the turkey was really great. Can't believe how much stuffing and gravy I ate. But sure, I'll have one more piece of pumpkin pie. Thanksgiving dinner was really grand, but I need to leave now, I've got other things planned. Though I ate so much, I'm about ready to die. Gonna grab my camping gear and head to Best Buy. Gonna be right in the front of the line. I really must make haste, there's just no time to waste. That 60-inch HD TV is mine. My tent's getting set up there by the curbside. I'll take elbow pads and roller blades along. No, it's not the country club, but I can pee behind the shrubs. Black Friday's almost here so long. My whole day's planned out. Next, I'll be heading to the manufacturer's clearance outlet mall. Buying stuff I can't afford. Please help me out here, Lord. My van's already packed from wall to wall. There's great bargains on stuff I really need. I don't have the strength to pass one sale by. Making choices is too hard, and that's why there are credit cards. There's no interest or payment till July. Take heed when you see my shopping cart. I suggest that you stay out of my way. When I the super sale, you better move your tail, or you'll end up with a long hospital stay. When they open the door to let us in, I'll be the first in line to join the fray. I think of it as looting without arson or shooting. It's my favorite day of all, Black Friday. In the evening when I'm home, safe and warm, with my booty all unloaded from the van. I see all the stuff I bought, and I am troubled by the thought, do I really need a digital frying pan? Broke, busted, and disgusted I may be, the marathon is over now, amen. Till I find it quite appealing to have new stuff from floor to ceiling, so next year I'm sure I'll do it all again. Take heed when you see my shopping cart. I suggest that you stay out of my way. Cause when I see a super sale, you better move your tail or you'll end up with a long hospital stay. Then when they open the door to let us in, I'll be the first in line to join the fray. I think of it as looting without arson or shooting. It's my favorite day of all, Black Friday. Black Friday. Maybe it's your favorite day. Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's see how we're doing. This is a, another song I uh, genetically modified um, was written by John Lennon from the Beatles. And, uh, you know, they had a little different uh, view on things than I do, but 
we kind of viewed this utopian world where everything is lovely and beautiful, but we live in a fallen world. And a fellow a comedian that I really enjoy named Tim Hawkins rewrote the song. And then uh, I, I piled on through my uh, two cents into it. It's called Imagine. So just imagine this. Imagine there's no traffic. No construction zones. No slow pokes in my fast lane. Talking on cell phones. Imagine all the people driving like they had a breeze. <laughs> Imagine kids not whining. No screaming fits or squeals when they don't get the right toy in their happy meal. Imagine all the parents burning down Chuck E. Cheese. Come on, you know you know what I'm talking about. You may say I'm a psycho, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday things will go my way, and the world will be a lot more fun. Imagine our world without COVID-19. No need to social distance, no masks or vaccines. Imagine China's leaders doing all the right things. Imagine if all actors and musicians too would just act and sing with no political views. Imagine all the rappers falling down a flight of stairs. Now, that's not right. Not, not right to do that. You may say I hate rappers, but I'm not the only one. This song is fine with most people, cause most of you know that it's just in fun. Imagine that. Thank you. Do I need chicken wire or are we still okay? Okay. Uh, back a few years ago, I was part of a group called Musica with Leanne Whitman, who comes uh, often too, and uh, Chuck Grant that wrote the song about the AARP party boy, and Leanne's niece, Hillary Hubler. Uh, I met her when she was 15, just a kid, and now she's 31, she's got a baby. But uh, you know, if, you, if you ever heard her sing, she's got a tremendous voice. And we made a couple of CDs. And uh, this is one of the songs I wrote. It's called Trailer Trash. Okay, so maybe you heard it before. But uh, if, you, if you have, you're going to hear it again. I hope the dawn comes soon because it's getting awful dark. The sun's no longer shining here at Green Acres Trailer Park. Sometimes I even wonder if I live under a curse. Just about every day things go from bad to worse. So don't ask me what she's up to, I can't begin to say. There's thunder in the distance and the storm's heading this way. So just when I think I've seen it all, something else goes wrong. The bestest way to tell y'all is to sing this little song. 
Fridge is empty, my truck won't start, all the bills are overdue. My hound dog died, the well run dry, and I'm sitting here singing the blues. You ain't shown me no lovin' since way back when dirt was new. You pushed me round so long, there's nothing else for me to do. You passed up every chance I gave you for romance, but I ain't gonna sit around and pout. I decided to do what I've been meaning to without a second thought or doubt. Maybe someday someone will show you what life's all about. There ain't been no trash in my trailer since the night I throwed you out. Well, the phone's been disconnected and the welfare check's all gone. I got my reasons for believing you got something going on. Cause I seen you flirting with the clerk down at the party store. You just blew your last second chance, so I'm showing you the door. You passed up every chance I gave you for romance, but I ain't gonna sit around and pout. I decided to do what I've been meaning to without a second thought or doubt. Maybe someday someone will show you what life's all about. There ain't been no trash in my trailer since the night I throwed you out. You spent every last dollar we had on fancy French perfume. Fellers' eyes all turn your way when you walk into the room. Your chapter in my book is one I'd rather not rehash. But my trailer smells much better now since I throwed out the trash. You passed up every chance I gave you for romance, but I ain't gonna sit around and pout. I decided to do what I've been meaning to without a second thought or doubt. Maybe someday someone will show you what life's all about. There ain't been no trash in my trailer since the night I throwed you out. No, there ain't been no trash in my trailer since the night I throwed you out. Woohoo! <laughs> Go. Okay. Now we're getting in the groove here. <coughs> so I, had a, I was going to come here a different way. I come from Midlands about two hours. They got um, 69s all screwed up. I don't know. I couldn't get through there. So um, I don't know. I'll be okay. I'll get over it. What's that? Yeah, I thought about going that way, but uh, maybe on the way home. So here's a song. Uh, this uh, There's a fellow born the same year I was born, and uh, this is the song that catapulted him to a quite a tremendous career. And he's gone now. And uh, I'll just give you a hint. He was born in Gary, Indiana. No, no, no. Um, he uh, was part of a family act. His clothes were weirder than mine. <laughs> and he, he had an afro. Um, Michael Jackson for 10 points. Yeah, this, this is a Jackson 5 song. You know, you see a ukulele, you say, oh, it's nice Hawaiian music and laki da da and it's that too, but I like to, you know, uh, make a mishmash of stuff. So this is... I want you back by the Jackson Five. <laughs> when I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always seemed to stand out in a crowd. Someone picked you from the bunch, one glance was all it took. Now it's much too late for me to take a second look. Oh, baby, give me one more chance to show you that I love you. Won't you please let me back in your heart? 
Oh, darling, I was wise to let you go, let you go, baby. Now I know I've seen you in his arms. I want you back. Yes, sirree, now I want you back. Ooh, ooh, baby, I want you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to drink without your love is one long sleepless night. Let me show you, girl, that I know wrong from right. Every street you walk on, I leave tear stains on the ground. Following the girl, I didn't even want around. Let me tell you now, oh baby, all I need is one more chance. Show you that I love you, won't you please let me back in your heart. Oh darling, I was blind to let you go, let you go baby. Now since I see you in his arms, I want you back. Yes, I do now. I want you back. Ooh, ooh, baby. I want you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I need. All I want. All I need. All I need. Oh, just one more chance to show you that I love you, baby. 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 I want you back, forget what happened then, let me live again. Oh, baby, I was blind to let you go, let you go, baby. Now I see you in his arms, I want you back. Spare me of this cause, give me back what I lost. Oh, baby, all I need is one more chance, tell you that I love you, baby. Baby, baby, I want you back. Thank you. I'm don't, I don't dance, so don't ask me. You know, like that old song goes. Yeah. 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 Picking and choosing here. I'm going to skip one there, Don. This is um, Sourdough Slim. I heard him sing this song, and uh, he said he learned it from Patsy Montana, who was a singer back in the 40s and 50s. And uh, Patsy sing with yodeling. And yodeling is really cool, and I'm working on it. So uh, this is the version I learned from Sourdough Slim of If I Could Only Learn to Yodel. <coughs> I'm thinking tonight while the moon's shining bright Of a gal that I adore She won't have me and it's plain to see That it hurts me more and more It seems she's in love with a yodeling man From the hills of Tennessee That's my Kentucky and he won her heart with a yodel ole hee hee yodel -le 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 hee If I could only learn to yodel with a yodel ole -le hee hee yodel -le 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 hee ho It's easy, they say, to go yodel a with a yodel -le 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 hee hee yodel ole -le hee hee yodel -le 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 hee ho There's a little old shack that's calling me back To the place where I belong 
I must admit that I just don't fit with that gal. What done me wrong? So I'm packing my duds and I'll be on my way to the land that's calling me. Oh, he won her heart with a yodel yodel hee hee, yodel little little yodel yodel hee hee. If I could only learn to yodel with a yodel yodel hee hee, yodel yodel hee ho. It's easy, they say, to go yodel a with a yodel little little yodel yodel hee hee, yodel yodel hee hee, yodel yodel hee ho. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, so let's see here. Okay, uh, this is very loosely a Bible song, and it's, uh, I think it's Judges 16, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a story of Samson and Delilah. It's another Tim Hawkins song. It's, uh, he's got a lot of stuff on YouTube that makes me laugh all the time. So let's uh, go that way. Delilah. Tongue in cheek. Hey there, Delilah, this is your ex-boyfriend, Samson. I know you thought that lifting weights made me buff and handsome. You were wrong. It's cause I let my hair grow long. You were wrong. Hey there, Delilah, you came in while I was sleeping. I couldn't feel you cutting, and I didn't hear you creeping out the door. You left my hair piled on the floor while I just snore. Oh, what you do to me. Oh, while I was asleep. Oh, I'm a Nazarene. But you shaved me clean, Delilah, you're so mean. I killed a lion, big and mean, and slaughtered many Philistines with the donkey's jawbone, that's no lie. Now I'm chained up to the wall, and I can't cry no tears at all because they came and gouged out both my eyes. Why'd you grab your clipping shears and shave my head like Britney Spears? Now I'm standing here in total shame. Delilah, you're to blame. Hey there, Delilah, why did you have to deceive me? It's hard for me to think not long ago I wanted you to be my bride. But you took too much off the side. Hey there, Delilah, when you die, just tell the devil I said hi, he'll know why. Oh, it's what you did to me, oh, now I'm up the creek, oh, now I feel so weak, oh, like a freak. Oh, Delilah, you're a geek. Oh, you're such a geek. Oh. Okay. Very tolerant, thanks. All right. Heading toward the finish line here. Uh, all right. This is an old uh, 
back in, I think it was like the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s, there's an organization called the Women's Temperance Union. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, their, their goal in life was to make, uh, keep fr uh, things illegal, drinking. So this is a song I learned from the Chad Mitchell Trio, which was a folky group back in the 60s. It's called Away With Rum, the song of the Temperance Union. <coughs> was it familiar? Away, away with rum by gum, rum by gum, rum by gum. Away, away with rum by gum. The song of the temperance union. We're coming, we're coming, our brave little band. On the right side of temperance, we do take our stand. We don't use tobacco because we do think that the people who use it are likely to drink. Away, away with rum by gum, rum by gum, rum by gum, away, away with rum by gum, the song of the temperance union. We never eat cookies because cookies have yeast, and one little bite turns a man to a beast. Oh, can you imagine a sadder disgrace? Then a man in the gutter with crumbs on his face. Away, away with rum by gum, rum by gum, rum by gum. Way away with rum by gum, the song of the temperance union. We never eat peaches because peaches ferment, and peaches ferment at the least little dent. Oh, can you imagine a sorrier sight than a man drunk on peaches he thought were all right? Away, away with rum by gum, rum by gum, rum by gum. Away, away with rum by gum, song of the temperance union. We never eat fruitcake because fruitcake has rum, and one little bite turns a man to a bum. Oh, can you imagine a sorrier sight than the man eating fruitcake until he gets tight? He gets tight, he gets tight, he gets tight, he gets tight. A man eating fruit cake, a man eating fruit cake. We're coming, we're coming, our brave little band. On the right side of temperance, we do take our stand. We don't use tobacco because we do think that the people who use it are likely to drink. Away, away with rum by gum. Rum by gum, rum by gum, away, away with rum by gum, the song of the temperance union. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for singing along. I'm glad somebody knows one of these silly songs. All right, so... Um, Okay, so changing gears again. Um, I grew up in Michigan, and um, I was going to go into the Peace Corps when I got out of college. I had a chemistry degree. I was going to go to Malaysia and teach science. This was 1979. And they started having problems over there. And I said, you know what? Uh, I don't think I care to get into that mess. So I don't want to, I don't, no more Michigan winters for me. So I ended up going out to California. I ended up in a town called Downey. And uh, the Carpenters grew up in Downey, California, uh, of all things. And uh, you know, I met a girl, got married, started having kids, and decided that uh, that wasn't the best place to raise kids. So I moved back here in 1990. So this is a Carpenter song called Superstar. <laughs> Long, long ago, and oh so far away, 
I fell in love with you Before the second show Your guitar It sounds sweet and clear But you're not really here It's just a radio You told me you loved me, baby You said you'd be coming back this way again, baby Baby, 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 oh baby I love you, I really do That's enough <laughs> Yeah, well, hey I've got all kinds of stuff in my pocket, so um, how are we doing on time there, Don? It's, it's four o'clock. You guys want an encore? Okay. All right. Okay, um, this uh, song, Chet Atkins, uh, Chet Atkins was a f unbelievable, he's even a better guitarist than Sid, there's not many, but uh, he's gone now, and I'd never, <coughs> excuse me. I never heard him sing a song, but he did sing this song, and it's about, uh, I lost my dad early, um, too early, and uh, it's called I Still Can't Say Goodbye, about uh, losing a father. When I was young, my dad would say, Come on, son, let's go out and play. Sometimes it seems like yesterday. When I was home all by myself, I'd climb up his closet shelf, grab his hat, fix the brim, pretending I was him. No matter how hard I try, no matter how many tears I cry, no matter how many years go by, I still can't say goodbye. <coughs> Always took care of our family. We cut down our Christmas tree. He always had some time for me. Wind blows through the trees, the moon is shining bright. Most things are the same, but I miss my dad tonight. I walk by a Salvation Army store, saw a hat like my daddy wore. Tried it on, fixed the brim, still trying to be like him. No matter how hard I try, no matter how many years go by, no matter how many tears I cry, I still can't say goodbye still can't say goodbye so, but goodbye hey thanks I uh, it's dark but I see a lot of smiles and I appreciate your tolerance and uh, let's let's uh, I'll look forward to being back